Hey, what's up? This is the Hyperpixel 2.1 inch round from by Moroni. You can use it for some useless projects like cookie jar cover or a bedside clock that is powered by Raspberry Pi OS, but that will be too much power for a clock. Honestly, it looks good for uh, a DIY project to control your smart home devices, designed to be a fit on a Raspberry Pi Zero. Let's connect it and see the pros and cons of this display. I have connected it to a Raspberry Pi A Plus and the Zero uh, W, but it was a perfect fit for the Zero uh, W, uh, and it was uh, uh, so much powerful to use uh, another Raspberry Pi than the Zero W, especially that the Zero W does not support Wi-Fi over uh, 5G. The display is 480 by 480 pixels minus the corners, 229 BPI. It's a high speed DPI interface and 60 frame per second frame rate. Using the Raspberry Pi imager on Windows, I have made a fresh copy uh, of Raspberry Pi OS on a, an SD card and I have connected the Pi to an external monitor, keyboard and mouse, completed the setup, enabled the SSH interface to be used later. Till now, you can't see anything on the round display until you install the drivers. So from the product page on Pimeroni website, scroll down from this section copy and paste these lines into a terminal window. After the installation is finished, reboot the Raspberry Pi then you can see the amazing display comes to life with a tiny crop display of your desktop the touch will not uh, work here you need to program it using the uh, python library and it will work only on that program let's install the library and uh, run the examples from the github page uh, similar to the previous step uh, I have SSH to uh, Raspberry Pi. From here, you can copy and paste these lines of codes. Let's run this command. And after it finishes, copy uh, the next line and paste it into the terminal. Hit enter to clone the latest development uh, library. Then CD in the new created folder and run an installation by typing sudo dot slash install dot sh. This won't take much time and I have choose yes for the option to copy the examples. It will be copied to your slash home by by Moroni examples. In some cases, you're gonna need to modify the Raspberry Pi boot config file to include these lines to run demos properly. To run the demos from SSH, first let's uh, run the clock demo using this command. The touch now working when you touch the display on the uh, on the screen, you can see the color of the clock will be changed. You can as well uh, try the other demos, and some demos uh, need to be uh, directly run from the by itself. I'm not sure if this is a bug or I am missing something. From the SSH commands, you can make a slideshow uh, for the photos. The photos need to be exactly like a one to one uh, pixel ratio that will be uh, displayed correctly on the display and uh, similar to the videos. The videos as well need to be like uh, one to one ratio at that time it will be displayed correctly on the uh, display of course uh, with the cropped uh, corners. What I do like about this screen it's bright it's fast 60 frames per second and it's uh, IPS with a good view angle. Uh, the size is okay and the setup is super easy. What I don't like about it, it works fine with the Raspberry Pi Zero, but the Wi-Fi connection does not support the Wi-Fi uh, 5G. 
uh, internet this is uh, not super fast and it's good only for low speed internet projects the second is the touch option is only working with the python library you can't have a browser app or a native bios application interaction if you have a question or an idea for a diy project using this display let me know in the comments down below finally if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel there will be more thanks for watching and have a nice day